Hey guys, Inwood Productions here today, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to pull scooter parts. Okay, guys, for this tutorial, you're going to need um, I wear eye protection just because the oven cleaner is really toxic and it can burn your eyes out. Um, I wear thick rubber gloves, a mask, you'll need the part you're actually roaring, a rag, and the oven cleaner. And the oven cleaner I use is Easy Off. Um, the oven cleaner, it's the heavy duty one. Make sure you get the heavy duty one, otherwise it will not work properly. So, yeah. Alright guys, you'll also need a Ziploc bag. Depending on the size of your part, you can use a plastic bag too. But I'm only doing clamps, so I'll just be using that. Okay guys, so what you want to do is, you want to get your Ziploc bag, and you want to get your part that you're roaring. I'm roaring just a district double clamp. Just kind of standard district double clamp. And you take out any bolts or anything that are in it that you don't want to be roared. And now what you do is just place that inside the bag like that. Now, you get your Easy Off, whatever you're using. Uh, yeah, I'm using Easy Off, so that probably works the best. <coughs> give it a good shake like this. Then give it a test spray. Yep, there you go. So now, you just want to spray it all inside your bag. You want to get a good coating like that and then you just want to start rubbing on the actual clamp. Now when you do it up make sure you get as much air out as you can, I didn't let any air out but do it like that and then just start rubbing the clamp and you should see that it's already starting to like pull the paint off and it's already starting to go kind of chromish. So yeah. I'll get back to you when it's done. Okay guys, once you think you've got most of it off, you can um, go rinse it out under a tap or something, and then um, wash it off, and then we'll go inside and polish it. And one other thing I'll just mention now, is any laser cut thing that's on there, see that district, symbol is laser cut on there. I don't know if it'll focus. Be great if it would. But yeah, that district symbol is laser cut on there. So anything that is laser cut will stay on there no matter what. So yeah. Okay guys, so now you just go over to your tap. Get out of the bag. Put that to the side for a second. Just rinse it off under some water. And now what you want to do is, you just get a rag and dry it off. Like that. You have a focus again. Okay guys, the final step to fully rolling a item on a scooter. So what you'll have to do is, you might notice that this still has like a whitish powder on it. Now, that is actually in the metal and when you polish it, which you have to do, that will get it out. So what I'm using is Auto Soul Metal Polish. Um, it comes in tubes and tubs, I'm just using a tube. And you want to get some cheesecloth, like this is like a rough kind of cloth that's good for polishing stuff. So, I'll show you this now. I'm going to speed it up, I'll slow it down in a bit so I can show you. I'll start with the front and then I'll compare it to like one of the sides. So yeah. Now guys, if you already start to look, you'll see that that's like white there, and that's already going chrome. So, you just keep this up until there's no more kind of blackish stuff coming onto the rag, 
and then you know you're done. Make sure you use a decent amount of polish, um, the more the merrier. Okay guys, I'll just give you a little look on here. I'm trying to get my light so it gets a really good shine on it without it being too bright. So yeah, this is nearly done. I'll keep going. And it'll come up about like this when you're done. You'll feel it and it'll feel smooth. It won't feel rough. You'll know what I mean when you do it. But um, this is pretty much it. I'll just keep going until I get it to fully it. And then I'll end the video. So thanks for watching guys, please like, comment and subscribe and I hope to see you again next time. Cheers.